It has been nearly a year since someone gunned down a Norfolk teacher. Today, a man accepted responsibility for the crime. Lamontre McAdams pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter, obstruction of justice, and reckless handling of a firearm. Today on your side, Jason Marks joins us with how long McAdams could spend behind bars on these charges, Jason. Well, the big one there is involuntary manslaughter. That is a much lesser charge than the original second degree murder, which means less time in prison. Just weeks before graduation, 18-year-old Nateria Powell had her life cut short. She was shot in her own apartment. This entire case is a tragedy. Powell was a senior at Maury High School in Norfolk. May 21st, rescue crews rushed out to her apartment on Ledge Street. When they arrived, they found her in her own bed. She died at the hospital. Prosecutors say Powell was shot in the eye. Her comforter had a bullet hole in it as if she was hiding behind it. Eight hours later, the person who pulled the trigger, 20-year-old Lamontre McAdams, turned himself in to police. Lamontre is, is a young man who comes from a great family, very well cared for, very loved, very popular. McAdams was charged with second-degree murder. He claimed from the beginning the shooting was an accident. Witnesses say McAdams came running out of Powell's room after the shooting, saying he killed her, but he didn't mean to do it. Today, he pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter, a lesser charge. My client has made a well-informed decision about, uh, about what he wants to do. He's had plenty of time to consult with his family, and that is the decision that he made. McAdams now avoids going to trial. In court, his mother told the judge she's sorry for everyone involved. It's difficult for everyone. Uh, you know, we have a family that has lost a family member, and now we have the McAdams family who stands to lose their son. How long he'll spend behind bars will now be up to the judge. He's been very conscious of, of the impact of what has happened, and uh, he has taken responsibility. McAdams faces a maximum of 16 years behind bars. He'll be sentenced in May. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.